हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई शैल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द क्वेश्चन बैंक ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट द टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज आंसर इन वन सेंटेंस एंड सच क्वेश्चन कुड बी आस्क इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन बी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज we have been discussed few options of this question number 1b today we will be dealing with this answer in one sentence so friends let us start with that answer the following questions in one sentence element a and b follows the newland's octet rules how many elements are there in between a and b so friends the answer is six elements number 2 write the characteristics of this dobereinert triads in each triad the elements were placed according to the increasing order of their atomic masses and the atomic mass of the middle element in each triad was approximately equal to the mean of the atomic masses of the other two elements question 3 to which element does newland's octet rule apply up to calcium write the molecular formula of the oxides of any one of the elements in the mendeleev's periodic table the answer here elements are given and their molecular formula sodium na2o silicon si sio2 calcium cao and carbon co2 write the name of the noble gas having two elements in its valence cell that is helium write the name of an element having electronic configuration 282 and that is magnesium mg which two elements show an ambiguity regarding their sequence in mendeleev's periodic table cobalt and nickel The elements beryllium, magnesium, and calcium are in group two. What will be their valency? Valency is two. The modern periodic table is divided into which blocks? That is S block, P block, D block, and F block. What determines the chemical reactivity of the elements? The chemical reactivity of an element is determined by the number of valence electrons in it. and the cell number of the valence cell write chemical formula for rust chemical formula for rust is fe2o3 dot xh2o complete the given chemical reaction cuso4 in the aqueous state plus iron in the solid state gives you the product we have to write here the reaction could be cuso4 in the aqueous state that is copper sulfate plus iron In solid state gives you F E S O four in the aqueous state, ferrous sulphate plus copper. That is C U. What is the heating effect of electric current? When a resistor is connected in an electrical circuit, heat is produced in it due to the current. This is known as heating effect of electric current. Next is which metal used to make the filament of an electric bulb? That is tungsten. What is the short circuit due to a fault in the equipment or of the plastic coating on the live and the neutral wires? Gives away the two wires come in contact with each other, and a large current flows through it, producing heat. This is known as short circuit. What is the potential difference? the potential difference is the difference in the electric potential of two different points how much hold potential difference between live and the neutral wire that is 220 volts what is used to turn off the sudden increase in current in the electrical circuit of the house nowadays that is mcb miniature circuit breakers write two devices used in the heating effect of electric current the answer is fuse wire 
इलेक्ट्रिक हीटर इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब इलेक्ट्रिक आयरन इलेक्ट्रिक कुकर एंड गीजर राइट द फ्लैमिंग राइट हैंड थम्ब रूल इफ अ करंट कैरिंग स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर इज हेल्ड इन यूअर राइट हैंड सच दैट द थम पॉइंट टूवर्ड्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट देन द कॉल फिंगर अराउंड द कंडक्टर विल गिव यू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन द एडजॉइनिंग फिगर यू कुड क्लियर दिस स्टेटमेंट राइट द फ्लेमिंग लेफ्ट हैंड रूल स्ट्रेच द इंडेक्स फिंगर द मिडल फिंगर एंड द थम ऑफ द लेफ्ट हैंड mutually perpendicular to each other see the figure if the index finger is in the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger points in the direction of the current then the thumb will point towards the direction of the force of the conductor see the figure write the fleming's right hand rule fleming's right hand rule can be stated as stretch the four finger the middle finger and the thumb of the right hand says that there are mutually perpendicular to each other if the four finger indicates the direction of the magnetic field thumb indicates the direction of the motion of the conductor then the middle finger indicates the direction of the induced current in the conductor see the figure what is the solenoid when a copper wire with a resistive coating is wound on a chain of loops like a spring is called a solenoid write the two names in the following diagram here right hand thumb rule figure is shown and here fleming's uh, this right hand rule is shown at the blank places at the boxes we have to put the names so the answer will be for the first figure here it is electric current in the case of right hand thumb rule it is electric current direction right hand shown and the magnetic field in fleming's right hand rule here you can see motion of the conductor direction of the magnetic field and direction of the induced current define boiling point of the liquid a constant temperature at which liquid converts into gas is called the boiling point of the liquid what is meant by regulation the phenomena in which the ice converts to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called regulation how fog is formed when water vapor condenses around microscopic solid particles such as dust is called as a fog what is dew point temperature when unsaturated air that is of a specific volume at a certain temperature is taken and its temperature is decreased a temperature is reached at which the air becomes saturated with vapor this temperature is called the dew point temperature what does the existence of the drops of water around the leaves of a tree in the morning indicates existence of drops of water on the leaves in the morning indicates that air is saturated with vapor which temperature segment is chosen when determining the unit of heat and why while deciding the unit of heat temperature interval chosen is 14.5 degrees celsius to 15.5 degrees celsius the reason for this is when one kg of water is heated through 1 degree celsius in a various temperature ranges the amount of heat required to raise the temperature by 1 degree celsius varies slightly from range to range hence it is essential to define a specific temperature range while defining the unit of heat identify the wrong figure from the following here two figures are shown the light rays is entering from air to glass air is the rarer glass is the denser so in the first figure there is no deviation the rays passing from one media to another in the second uh, when the rays passing from air to glass at that time it is bending towards the glass this is the right figure b and this a is wrong so the answer for this because we are going to find out uh, identify the wrong figure the wrong figure is a which is shown here without the deviation it is passing or it is moving away from the normal next is write the molecular formula of the given compounds 
here some six compounds are given we have to write the molecular formula first is ethyl ethonate the molecular formula is c4h8o2 sodium ethonate c2s3o2 na stearic acid c17s35coh or c18h38o2 sodium ethoxide c2h5 ONA C17 H33 COOH or C18 H34O2 Palmitic acid C15 H31 COOH or C16 H32 and O2 Next we will see Write the molecular formula of the given compound Here some aligned compounds are given We have to write the molecular formula of them Ethylene C2H4 Benzene C6H6 Acetic Acid CS3COOH or C2H4O2 Propylene C3H6 Acetylene C2H2 Ethyl Alcohol C2H5OH or C2H6O Acetone C2H5O uh, C3H5O Propene C3H6 Ethanol C2H5OH or C2H6O Ethonic Acid CS3COOH or C2H4O2 ISO between C4H10 Draw electron dot structure and line structure of the given molecules Hydrogen, Oxygen, Methane, Nitrogen, Ethane Of this 5 uh, electron dot structure and line structure we have to be draw of these molecules Let us start First is we will uh, prepare a table Molecule, electron dot structure and line structure. First we will see the hydrogen H2 and its electron dot structure is like this and uh, line structure is this one. Next is oxygen. It would be like this uh, electron dot structure and the line structure is like this. Then uh, methane is there. So its dot structure is like this and line structure is this one then next is nitrogen and it has like this the dot structure and this is the line structure then ethane is there its dot structure and this one is the line structure this is what the electron dot structure and line structure of these all five molecules friends i think you understood all this prepare them properly Go through additional problems from the textbook and the referral study material. Friends, we'll, uh, in the next video, you will see again the different type of the questions that could be asked in the question number 1B. So, thank you for watching this video. We'll meet soon with the next video. Till that, bye.